Uh, and red sauce on your bait. No, no, no. It's brown. Oh, yeah, right, of course. No harm done. Oh, there would have been. Ketchup's a sack of all offence in that garage. I don't understand why blokes get so worked up about the choice of sauce. Well, look. Red or brown, mm -hmm. red or blue. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that matters. <laughs> Right, that's uh, sausage, bacon, and what else was it? Oh, and a porridge for me. Need to keep trim for my big day. That's right, I heard you got engaged. Congratulations. Thank you. you set a date? Not yet. You expecting someone? Alex. He's half an hour late, and uh, he has not answered his phone. Well, I should leave it a few minutes before you call Interpol. He's a grown-up. <sighs> I'm fussing on her. Maybe a bit. Right, 6.50. Oh, and keep the change, and you stop worrying. Yes, I will. Thank you. See you later. Someone's cutting it fine. Oh, yeah, I overslept. Well, you're awake now. On either look you on. Things aren't that bad, surely. My mum's only got time for Harry. Uncle Nick's been mardy as hell lately, and... And? School's no better. They laid off a bit. I thought it was over. Now it's worse than ever. Does your mum know what's going on? What's the point in telling her? Oh, you've got to do something, Bethany. I've tried everything. When I was at the christening, I even said a little prayer. I figured if I needed a miracle, I might as well ask for one. How lame is that? It's not lame. Nah. No one's listening. No one cares. That's not true. I've got to go. Hey, wow. special delivery for the birthday girl. That's what you call a bouquet. Never mind the badge, you have to run a bath. <laughs> Is there a card with it? Yeah. Not that you need to look. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Steve's certainly gone the extra mile, isn't oh, oh. No, he hasn't. They're not from me. Nope. Although I don't know why I'm surprised. Last flowers he bought me were a bunch of daffs on the last legs. Still, at least they've been reduced. He'd left the price on. Mm. Well, if they're not from Steve, who are they from? Well, well. Oh, it's uh, somebody that she uh, she planned the wedding. <laughs> wow, she must have done a hell of a job. Mm. Uh, Anna, I, I I just need to make a quick phone call, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, right. Um, well, I've finished now, anyway, so I'll see you tomorrow. OK, and um, thanks, love. OK, thanks. Ciao. Bye. <sighs> oh, I hope your phone is switched off because you're on that plane. You need to get your sorry backside home. Sharpish. I said I'd deliver them. Yeah, you said that yesterday and the day before. Well, I got waylaid. Waylaid? It'll be on your empty tomb. It would have been here, but he got waylaid. Well, I don't suppose Timothy would have got waylaid, would he? He'd have chucked him through the letterboxes from the back seat of his jag. How many more times? I was just bigging you up. Well, so you admit it, I'm not good enough then. Do you know what? I'll deliver the leaflets, cos at that way I know it'll get done. No, I'll do it. Just make sure you do, cos this meeting's tonight and it's very important. Yeah, unlike me. That development is going to affect a lot of people. So vote against it. Why bother with a meeting? Because it's going to create jobs. And I've seen the plans. There are a lot of windows. Well, I don't get out of bed unless it's antique glass, remember? Look, it's an opportunity. But obviously, I can't be influenced by that. I need to listen to my constituents. Ah, morning, love. Morning. Here, whatever brand of coffee you're drinking, you should change it. It's not cutting it, is it? I'm fine, Tim. Oh, you don't look it. Yeah, well, basically, like, Kaz has had an accident and she's coming home and Kate wants her to stay with her while she recovers. Oh, I thought that... Yeah, I know, they have. But Kate still wants us to stay with her. What, and you think that might bring them back together? Yeah, I could see how you could be worried about that. No, Tim, I want them to get back together. I want Kate to be happy and I want Kaz to be OK, all right? What? Just deliver the leaflets. I'm still not sure this is a good idea. It's not for long, it's just till she gets back on her feet. If you two were still together, that'd be one thing, but... What choice have I got? I shouldn't speak to her folks. She's got nowhere to go, nowhere to take care of her. And... I still love her. I know you do, darling. And Kaz is welcome to stay as long as she needs. 
you still get your hopes up, eh? What about my job? That's what I want to know. We can't stand in the way of progress, Rita. Oh, you'll be singing a different tune when people are buying their flowers there. You reckon? Mm. Thank God they don't do wreaths. Give them time. These big shops are into everything nowadays. Mm. That development is going to be a disaster for businesses round here. Oh, not necessarily, love. Well, small traders can't compete with the likes of Fresco. Yeah, well, not everybody's going to be competing with them, are they? It'll give some businesses a shot in the arm. Shot in the back of the head, more like. <laughs> you take me and Jason, for example. If we've got a piece oh, of this development... Oui. <laughs> it's Jason's business. Yes, and I'd be happy for him. But it won't be much consolation for them that goes under. Mm. No, I'm hoping Sally can stop it in its tracks. Sally? Yeah. Yeah, she's our very own Hillary Clinton. She's just been elected to the council as an independent. I doubt one novice councillor is going to stop Fresco. Oh, I wouldn't underestimate her. She's already got herself on the planning committee. Has she? How did she swing that? Well, it's a hung council. And her vote is important, apparently. Well, that's democracy for you, isn't it? I mean, the right circumstances. Any fool can get their hands on power. Well, I wouldn't write her off. Sally is many things, but she's no fool. Mm. I was 21 yesterday. What happened? Life, that's what. Just as you're about getting the hang of it, it's half over. I'm gonna miss you. Stop it. You know what? It's only definite. It just won't be the same. Stop it. Anyway, you'll be fine once the landlord returns. Speaking of which, are you here for him today? Yeah, got a text. Happy birthday and a thumbs up emoji. Oh, that's romantic. Yeah, I thought so. Meanwhile, I got a walk in bouquet from Will. All it needed was a fountain and a couple of park benches. Really? Um, okay, so, um, how did it go yesterday? It was difficult. At least he cares. You do know that you and Steve have got something important and uh, real. Yeah. So why isn't he here then? It's his 40th birthday. Well, maybe it's because he understands that you don't want to make a big deal out of it and, you know... You're just making excuses for him? Yeah, maybe. It's just that I know that it's easy to lose sight of stuff, you know, when you're vulnerable. You're vulnerable, like I was, when... Me and Robert happened, and, you know, I just don't want you to end up in the same mess I did. No. Mum. We need as many people as possible at tonight's meeting, so if you can hand these out to your customers... Hand them out? Yes. Is that a problem? Well, we're in the middle of the dinner time rush, and what's for our next year? I'm not asking you to parade up and down in a sandwich board, shouting things into a microphone. It'll take you two seconds. Please. Well, I'll do my best, but, you know, people come in here for a bit of peace. A little food for thought with their lunch won't do anyone any harm. And the proposed Fresco has a cafeteria. Oh. Oh, Cathy, I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm not. Going out my mind, dear. Yeah. Oh, hang on, love. Oh, there you are. Am I? I'm not sure. Where have you been? I was just about to call the police. Why? I thought something had happened to you. So uh, I uh, never heard my alarm. Oh, well, never mind. Come on, get this on. This table's need wiping. Have you had something to eat? I'm OK. Oh, you need somewhere inside you. Yeah? How about a couple of poached eggs, extra runny the way you like them? Oh. Oh, no, I think maybe later. I think he's all right. Well, I'll put it this way, I think he might have had a lot better time last night. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, would sing happy birthday, but you're the one with the voice. <sighs> Did you uh, get the flowers? Yeah, I did, thanks. They were lovely. Although you shouldn't have spent so much money. Well, I didn't. Just cut through the cemetery on my run this morning. <laughs> did wonder why they spelled out Nana. <laughs> <laughs> what you said yesterday, did you mean it? I don't know. And even if I did, 
It's not the end of the story, is it? It's all that matters. No, it's not. <sighs> Please, Will. I don't want to do this. Not now, not today. Okay, okay. Look, I'll back off. Seeing as it's your birthday. You're out celebrating later. Hmm? If I got to celebrate, another year older and none the wiser, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll probably just have a chilled one, a glass of wine, a bit of telly. Why don't you come over to my place? I'll uh, cook you dinner. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely, but uh, you might be a bit awkward after everything that's happened with Saskia then. She won't be there. She's had to go back to Switzerland, tie up some loose ends. Never mind the loose ends she's left me at again. So I uh, won't pretend this isn't what it sounds like. Because it's exactly that. I can't stop thinking about you, and I know you feel the same. What's going on? I'm uh, just waiting for Michelle to do the honours. Are you? Better blow him out then, love, haven't you? Hope you made a wish. Maybe see you soon. See ya. She asked you a question. Let me go. Yeah, and if I do that, then what am I going to play with whilst I'm waiting for the bus? Got no consideration, you. <laughs> I just want to be left alone. Yeah, and you will be. As soon as the bus gets here. I mean, you weren't planning on getting on it, were you? You're walking away. And I'd keep on walking. <laughs> Size of you looks like you need the exercise. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Beth. Everything all right, eh? Uh, fine, thanks. Good. Glad to hear it. Jump in, then. Cheers. Hey, the driver's ready and waiting at the airport. Driver? Yeah, to pick up Steve. Steve? What's Steve's coming home? Yeah, for the party. What party? Oh, um, um, the, the party. My, my party. My, my party, my, 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 my mate Stevie. My, my, my mate Stevie, um, Stevie Newton. Yeah, me old mocker Stevie Newton. He's only four foot eleven, but he's got an art of gold. You're not buying this, are you? <laughs> Not one word of it. Is my husband coming home today? Yeah, I thought you knew. Sorry. <laughs> no, that is fine, Tim. That is more than fine. Mm. Can I get you a pint? Oh, aye. Councillor. Uh, that's right, yes. Well, that must be you. You've got that look about you. And what look? Well, somebody who's organised, driven. Somebody who knows what's what. Well, I do my best. It's all very new, though. Yeah. I hear you've already got yourself on the planning committee. Well, provisionally, yes. Some going, that is, Councillor. Some going. Sally, please. I don't like formalities coming between me and my constituents. Whatever my achievements, I want people to treat me just like they always have. It's so refreshing. Some politicians lose touch, you know. No, not me. Accessibility is my middle name. That must have tripped the vicar up at your christening, eh? Huh. I was wondering, uh, could I have a chat with you about something? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit pushed for time right now. I'd be enormously grateful if you'd hear me out, Councillor. I mean, I'm talking just a quick drink at the bistro. My shout. Oh, well, I'm sure I can spare five minutes. I do appreciate it, Councillor. I really do. Yeah. yeah, I can do it. Just like I said, I can do it. Um, do you need a hand? We can manage. Thanks, love. Are you OK? All the worse for seeing you. I was too busy thinking about what you did when my accident happened. She got injured. Parachute training. It could have been a lot worse. Right? It's not my fault. You tell yourself that if you want. At least one of us will feel better. Listen, love. I know you're sorry and you mean well. But it might pay you to back off for a bit. Give him a bit of space, like. Very big number. Mm-hmm. I don't care anymore. My husband's coming back. Mm -hmm. 
And he doesn't give a stuff about my age, then. Nope. I'm glad you're forgiving him. Mm. Don't get me wrong, he sailed pretty close to the wind this time. But I just feel relieved. And finally get on with my life again. With no distractions? Nope, no distractions. Mm. He asked me out to dinner tonight. Yeah. And don't worry, I wasn't going to go. I can't say I wasn't flattered at him. Mm. But you are right. It's easy to get confused, isn't it? Lose your way. Mm. I'm just going to focus on what's important. You do know your backside's vibrating, don't you? Not surprised the amount of Ailey's put away. <laughs> Here, hold that, will you? Hmm? Oh, Dave. Well, where are you? What are you doing there? Well, he must be there by now. Well, did you check to see if the flight was delayed or what? What do you mean you can't find him? All right, well, you better come back then, mate. Yeah, yeah. Steve wasn't on the plane, was he? No, the flight was bang on time, but no sign. Tried calling him, but no answer. There must be some logical explanation. Yeah, I can think of three straight off. Sun, sea and sand. I mean, why would he want to get on a plane to Weatherfield, eh? It's not like he's got anything worth coming back for. Oh, Shell. I want to be on my own. So, sympathetic as I am, it's not really a straightforward issue. Well, I'm a simple businessman, Councillor. I see things in black and white. Profit and loss. Is there a net gain in jobs and investment in this area? I think so. Well, you might be right, but it doesn't make it any easier for the businesses who are going to lose trade. Omelettes and eggs, Councillor. I don't normally duck decisions, but on this one, my vote is going to be guided by local opinion. That's why I'm going to the public consultation meeting tonight. Meeting? Where would that be? Oh, do you know what? I'm not surprised you don't know anything about it. I've been trying to get my useless husband to do a leaflet drop for the last three days. Right. I walk in the house and they're on the table. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to listen to what people say and I'm going to vote accordingly. And that sounds like a recipe for mob rule, if you ask me. Well, maybe, but it is the fairest way. Anyway, I better get these leaflets delivered before they become totally redundant. Pushing leaflets through people's doors is no way for a councillor to use their time. You should be preparing for that meeting. You leave them with me. Oh, I couldn't ask you to... Go home, have a rest. You need to be sharp for tonight. Thanks, Pat. I really appreciate that. My pleasure, councillor. And thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. Thirsty work, this. Hey, you've had three free pints already. If that was a breathalyzer, you wouldn't be driving home, would you? I don't know why we're still bothering, you know. Michelle's hardly going to come down and want to leave the conga after what Steve's done. Well, Liz said to carry on as if he was still coming. Yes, well, he's not coming, is he? Well, she insists that he is, and there's nothing like a mother's faith in her son. Or a wife's. Oh, no. No, I have every faith in Steve. Give him a chance to let me down. He'll grab it with both hands. What are you doing? It's my birthday, Tim. Just because he can't be bothered to celebrate doesn't mean I can't. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Somewhere I can be happy. And right now, that is not here. Shell, I know you're gutted about Steve not turning up, OK? But I'm here. Your mates are coming. We can still have a good night. You're wasting your breath. You especially. <laughs> Stupid. You didn't have to buy me coffee. Yeah, I did. Lauren's face was worth every penny. All their faces. It was no bother. I was on a test run, and I remember what you said this morning, so I thought I'd swing by your school. Well, I'm glad you did, because they all looked well impressed. Well, it wouldn't have harmed your street cred. It was a nice motor. It wasn't just the car. Anyway, with any luck, I'll leave you alone now. Maybe, but whatever happens, I'll never forget the way we looked or what you did. So, thank you. Can you not tear yourself away from that blooming phone for five minutes? There's a cat playing table tennis. I don't care. Look, you're meant to be working. Look at the state of this table. What's the matter? Nothing. Let me see. <gasps> what have you done to yourself? It wasn't me. Well, then who was it who's hurt you? Nobody's hurt me. Well, it hurts a bit. 
Oh, my. What do you think? Why, Christopher Biggins? Who? It's John Lennon. I think it's very nice, Alex. I've always wanted one for ages. It's dead cool. Close enough, are you? Uh, we always finish around this time. Oh, only I thought you had some kind of a meeting going on. Cancelled, is it? Oh, no, the meeting's going ahead. There's plenty of interest. Unlike a certain councillor I can name, I made sure to put the word about. Oh. It'll be standing room only. Feelings are running high. What kind of feelings? Fresco won't know what's hit them. Nobody wants a monstrosity like that on their doorstep. It'll change the character of the entire community. So you don't think anyone will speak in favour? Not if they want to get out alive. Oh. I'm just nipping home for a quick bite to eat, then I'll be back to put the chairs out. You should come along. Well, maybe I'll see you later. Good. I'm sorry to turn up unannounced. I should have called, really. Oh, no, don't worry. I just wondered if the offer was still open. Always. We're back on the street in half an hour 